Alright, so on school days, I have the coffee reheated for the millionth time. No, not really for the millionth time. Maybe about the second or third time so far. But I have my Instant Pot here. I have some chicken. This is my um, Instant Pot Chinese style chicken. In here, I've seasoned it with five spice, soy sauce, hoisin, oyster, um, onion, garlic, ginger, etc. Like that. I'll see if I can link the recipe down below. I believe I've shared this one before. At the end, I'll pop in some garlic and <laughs> uh, at the end, I'll put in some broccoli florets in here. Um, so this is going to be a quick lunch. It takes about 10 minutes to put together and then I'll leave it and it takes 20 minutes or so to cook through. So this can cook while we're starting things up. I've got some jasmine rice that I've cooked up for that. I have some eggs going for them and then they'll have eggs and fruit. Nothing fancy. They don't like a big, huge, fancy breakfast. They might, whatever they want after, if they want something after that, they can surely have it. Let's get the coffee. It's been sitting in the microwave for so long um, that it's probably not even hot anymore. So let's go and reheat it again. Why don't we? How old are you? Three years old. Three years old. And what do you want to be when you grow up? You could be a chef. You could be a firefighter, a police, a superhero. Thank you, Jesus, for my sister. And thank you, Jesus, that... Let us have a good time in school today, and let us not have any trouble, and let us have fun, in Jesus' name, amen. 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 <laughs> Today, 
got to share it with someone today. Got to share it. Got to share it with someone today. After Joshua conquered their homeland, he said it was time to take a stand. Will you serve God or the world? The line has been drawn by his great plan. All he has told me I will say, his voice.
Okay, so we're just gonna clean. Yes, we're just gonna clean up the table, put everything away, um, and we finished in about. We started around eleven, and it's now around three. We took about an hour break for lunch, and they just played and stuff like that. And that's it. We took about what four hours, three four hours. This is one of my favorite things to do. Let's come out here in the garden, check on my garden. And um, those are my green onions growing over there. They're doing amazing. If you have any green onions, I'll link below my quick five minute video on how I grow green onions from the store. Uh huh. Aw, oh, thank you, honey. She's my biggest fan, y'all. <laughs> she loves. Almost every single thing I make. But yes, she's loving the brownie cookies. You finished it already? Yeah, I heard someone squeaking, so let's go give someone, pick something out for little bud here. Um, I had to bake some more, I actually didn't. Delicious homemade organic kale. Oh, you this little guy is spending looks, some time out like in the sunshine today. Right yeah. Are you spending time out in the sunshine today, Mr. S'mores? And Mr. Hershey's. Let's go, let's go and see what he does. He's gonna go running. These are the little piggers in their little outside um enclosure in the patio. Look at They're so cute. They look like brothers. They're so sweet. All right, guys, I'm gonna leave that there for you. And this is one of my pigeon pea plants here, by the way. It's a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot of beans, peas growing on this. So I'll harvest some more later on with this. I have another one, another plant on the other side. Oh, we've got a little caterpillar in the cocoon right here. Girls get up in the morning. I don't wake them up super early. That's not a requirement. I'd rather them get some sleep, but they do have chores that they do, and every morning there is a five minute power cleaning time. So either between their bedrooms or their bathrooms, they alternate, and then there's different chores throughout the day as well. Little chores, but they have five minute power cleanup where they go and pick up whatever it is that's on the floor, whether it's toys or clothes, make the beds. I also join along in that five minute time and clean up the bedrooms, make the bed, whatever needs to be done, we get it done in five minutes. So it's not a lot, it's not super asking a lot, but that's the morning chores that they have to do before school starts. And one thing I did also wanna mention was I got this off of Amazon. It was about $20. I mean, they do have more expensive ones. I obviously, I'm not gonna go for the more expensive ones. But if you are a teacher or a homeschooling teacher or whatever it is, your voice can wear out so easily. So I went and got one of these voice amplifiers um, with all the talking and sometimes with multiple children you're over, you're talking over them. So this is definitely a help to, you know, just, it's like a little clip on microphone, a voice amplifier with a little, um, uh, whatever your speaker. So <coughs> because there I go, it's like I have my water, 
and my coffee and I'm constantly dehydrating myself because all the talking that you do with teaching and with reading from textbooks and books and stuff like that, your voice can really get strained. So if you're one of those, um, I had this one was $20, $23 or something like that. And it's a great little one. And yeah, I highly recommend something like this. Oh, that's, that's so pretty. Good job. So they're out here painting now and having fun, getting creative, getting messy. Bandanya plants. These plants are amazing, y'all. These are the seeds that I got off of Amazon. So if you saw my, um, when I planted these uh, last year or whenever it was, there was literally only like a few little tiny plants, but these have grown up to be beautiful, beautiful plants. And I just have an abundance, which I'm so grateful for. I have others on the other side. These as well I have for the plants. And another thing that the guinea pigs absolutely love is snacking on my plants. But again, as I mentioned before in that video, whenever you see these, I come out here and I pick these every so often, especially when the weather gets um, kind of cold or whatever, they start to bolt. So I do come in and snip these off as, as soon as I see them because they will not give me my leaves. Even though I've gotten a little, quite a lot of seeds that I'm actually storing up for next, for when I plant these. And as you can see, the seeds are in the center there, that little bulb, the little bulb in the center there. I'll dry these, I'll pick these leaves off and dry it, and then I'll plant some more. The littles will come out here and they'll run and play, and that's pretty much our PE for the day. They spend the rest of the day playing outside until, until they're tired. <laughs> And these are the little wild bunnies that we have around our neighborhood. Hi, little bud. Hi, little bud. You want a carrot? You want a carrot, little bud? Isn't he cute? You want to go pet him? You can't pet him, baby. He's a wild bunny. Aww. Yeah, but he's adorable, though. His eyes are so big, yeah. Oh, little s'moises, yo. These hello s'moises. Hello, bud. All right, take s'moises back in. <laughs> so that's it for the day, guys. We are just going to, I'm going to let them play out here. Um, we'll have some quiet time later. We may do some reading from one of our readers um, for our read alouds, and that is it. It's still pretty early. The sun is shining. It's bright. It's a beautiful, gorgeous day. Birds are chirping. And they're just going to enjoy the rest of it. They're playing outside. So, I hope that you guys enjoy. Have a wonderful and blessed, beautiful day.